Okay, story time. Um, it's kind of, I would like to say it's like a, a part two of my video of um, handling, dealing with narcissistic abuse or something like that. I made a video that was dealing, talking about um, basically uh, surviving or being better or getting over narcissistic abuse. And um, yeah, so... I'm making this video because since then I've learned, oh man, I've learned so much about myself and it's a beautiful thing. So, um, I've learned, I watch, um, Abraham Hicks and I mean, I know I'm going to post this, but I don't know if the people that, um, you know, whoever might see it or oh, whatever, look her up. She's a great woman. And anyways, she talks a lot about, um, about you know not taking things personal letting people be free to be themselves not not making people responsible for my own vibration for how I feel and this isn't the first time I've heard this but I I'm coming to that the terms of truly believing that that makes the most sense you know um, because nobody really has control over me I realized that you know I realized that when something happens like when a, a when something goes on when there's some type of stimuli and I am stimulated I have a choice and I'm the one who has the choice and I can choose to do this and I can choose to do that whatever it is I choose you know but it's my choice it's not the other person's choice no matter what the fuck they did so when um I come on people so when someone does something um you know I don't, I don't have to choose to take it and be all um, upset. I don't have to get offended by it. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the thing with narcissists or any toxic person or any person that wants to say something mean to you or mean to me or whatever the case may be. Their shit is about them. It's never about you. It's never about me. And I realized that. The more I realized that, the more I'm like, well, why am I going to get upset about some shit that someone's saying about me that really don't have nothing to do with me? You know what I'm saying? And, and even if in their eyes it's true, they don't have nothing to do with me because, A, if it is true, it's something that I know or don't know or whatever the case may be. I don't care. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. They can't do it. They can't change me. You know what I'm saying? And um, if I, whatever. I mean, they have no control over me. So, but since they have no control over me, um, their words should have no control over me because they have no control over me. So... I have decided to just love because I am a lover at heart. Um, I'm like the sun. I've said it a million times. I'm like the sun. And I will continue to be like the sun. I am not going to run and hide away from people. But I'm also not going to let people just do whatever the fuck they want. You know, if something doesn't feel right or doesn't feel good or whatever, I'm going to walk away. Because I know I can. And I know that that's the indication that, you know... I'm going down the right, wrong path. But I also understand and understand that my feeling, when I feel something bad, that is me also going down the wrong path, you know? My my inner being is a lover, and it's only a lover. It's not dual like I am. It's just that. So when I look away from the way that my inner being is looking, now I'm in... I, you know, I, I, I have an issue because we're not in agreement anymore. We're not in alum, alum, alignment. And now I don't feel good. And the more away I, the more, the more I'm not in alignment, the the less good I feel. And I'm recognizing that, man. No, look, no narcissist, psychopath, none of these stupid ass personality types have control over me. Unless I give it to them. Unless I allow them to have it. Unless I say, yes, Mr. Narcissist, the dumbass bullshit that you're saying to me about me are uh, correct. I am in agreement. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that. No. I'm not going to be in agreement with bullshit. I know who I am. So I think that the ultimate, um, I feel like when you come up with a narcissist, any narcissist, um, and you start recognizing certain things. This is your awakening. This is your sp time for spiritual warfare within yourself. Because the only reason why you would bring you come about someone like that or anything like that is because you know you're resonating with it. <laughs> like that's it. That's it. So, um, 
I'm not pushing the feet. I'm still, I still got this, ugh, with Pastor Johnson. But I guess I got to let that go too because I would never have gone to where I am now in my spirituality without her. Because um, my dislike of her kept me out of the churches. And because I still wanted to know God, I still did research. I still did the things that I knew to do that I was doing in the church. And I found myself in the process. So I should just let that go. I guess I, you know, I am where I am with this at this moment, but, um, you know, it just pisses me off because I, I guess because I did know there was something and I just never believed it because she's a fucking pastor, but now I know I'm going to trust myself above everything and I'm not going to take anyone else's word over my word because I know what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I, it, it's me. That's it. So anyways, um, this video is going to be really short because I'm at the laundromat and I really want to get my clothes. But I feel really good. I feel really good. It feels good to let people off the hook. Let them be whoever the fuck they are. They want to be an asshole, be an asshole. I'm just going to walk away from it. I'm not going to pay attention to that dumb shit. And um, I'm not going to take any of the dumb shit that you say. And I'm not going to take it personally either. And my goal now is to be untriggerable. I think I said that in my other video. And I mean it. To be unhurtable. For my feelings to be unhurtable. You can't hurt my feelings because fuck that. I'm me. Only I can hurt my feelings. Only I can allow my feelings to be hurt. And I... I just, I don't want that. I like feeling good. I like feeling good. I like, it's, it's a freedom I never thought I would mentally have. So, yeah.